Hey, what's up, Spice Rack Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Today's Bromeo card of the day is going to be none other than Brock. Brock's Grit, to be exact. This is the one from Tag Bolt. There is another one did exist. It's from the Best of X. No, no, it's not. Excuse me. It's from the 20th anniversary. Excuse me. Woo! Almost got that mess. So there's another version. There, there's so many cards to keep up with. But Brock, you got to have a Bromeo event with Brock. And I mean, he's the hunk, the man, the myth, the legend, right? That, look at that stuff. Look, look at him. Just look at that guy, the OG. Want to talk about this real quick because there is something that happened. Just want to put this out there for my fellow content creators. I have nothing against anybody in this video, by the way. Keep that in mind with the utmost respect. A couple content creators made a video about a video I did recently, the video in question, if you are wanting to follow along. Is this video, I did a Seismic Shock video right here, a Great Value Pokey Rev, where I discussed a video he put out. I'll catch up real fast in case you don't want to watch it. Essentially what happened was, is he had a booster box. He had a claim that the right side of Scarlet Violet booster boxes had all the hits, and that that could be taken advantage of by stores, LGSs, and other shady people. He wanted to weigh all the packs, label them, and actually prove this theory by going right versus left, and weigh all that stuff out. In that video, he actually missed the left-hand side of packs. He did not label five of those packs correctly. And then heavy packs on the left side ended up getting put on the right side. And remember, the rhetoric of that video was at the right side at all the hits. So he mislabeled those packs. He put them on the right side. And it was contention. It was basically misinformation of a video. I covered it. Other content creators covered the situation too, which I do respect. I really do appreciate that. I took a lot of the feedback from that. I love you guys. I thought that was good stuff. I appreciate you guys being the mediation in between and kind of leveling some stuff out. There's just one thing about the, the criticism that I just kind of want to address real quick because it's something that I think is kind of being overlooked and being overshadowed by something that's not quite as important, in my personal opinion. Follow along with me. One of the big criticisms I got from the other content creators was I did not talk to Seismic Shock. He reached out to me. I basically spat in his face, said I don't want to associate with you, and I made my video, and some people were like, well, you could have got a different perspective. You could have got a little bit more from that whole thing. You could have basically you know, learned something new, and it could have changed your whole mind about the video, and to my response, I will say I don't need to do that because the homie did it intentionally, and he filmed the whole thing. He filmed the entire thing. I don't need to actually fact check facts. I don't need to actually go talk to somebody about factual evidence. Now, follow along with me. So, in this video that Seismic did, I'm just going to take out all personal biases, and I'm just going to lay out some fucking facts that he did. So, the point of this video was to prove that the right-hand side of Scarlet Violet Booster Boxes had almost all the hits, the majority of the hits, and that could be taken advantage of by shady people. That's a fact. He weighed every pack on the right side correctly. That's a fact. On the left side, he missed five packs. That is a fact. He did not label them with else. Upon actually going to actually film and open these packs, he noticed at some point that these left-hand packs that were not marked did not get marked, and they ended up getting marked with R's or L's. And it just so happened that the packs that were heavy on the left side end up getting marked with R's and put on the right side, which is the point of his video. That's a fact. That happened. It 100% it did. Now, this was done intentionally. This is how you know he intentionally did that stuff. At some point... He noticed that he did not label those packs correctly. He admitted to people in DMs, and he admitted to people just randomly on Instagram that fucking messaged him. He just told his whole life story, and what he said he did was he 50 50 the packs. He was like, well, this is either an L or an R. I'm going to put an R on it, and I'm going to throw it that way. This one gets an L. He says that. I don't know. Like, I'm not going to put my personal take in there. I have my own opinions about that, but say he did the 50 50, right? At the very least, he noticed that he did not do this shit right and he did not do it correctly. And instead of going back and reviewing his footage or counting how many packs had R's, which should be 18 because he did the whole right side correctly, he would then know, oh, there should be 18 packs on the left side and he could have marked them all with L's. He did not do that. He did not feel the need to do that. That's a fact. He decided to put out that video knowing damn good and well that he fucked up that experiment. Fact. It was up for three days before I put up my video, in which I was I was trying to find where I was wrong because I did accept his apology and I was willing to give him another chance and be team seismic. I really was. That's a fact. I did that. I proved that in my last video. He let that video stay up for three days with people in his comment section sucking his dick saying he was doing the community such a service and not once did he tell anybody that he fucked up that experiment. That's a fact. He didn't do that. He he would not have even said a word about it unless I blew that shit up. He would not have. Wouldn't have done it. Now, here's my proposal to you. What would talking to him have added to the situation? 
oh, how he felt about it. Oh, I 50 50 that. It doesn't change the fact that he knew he messed it up, that he knowingly did this whole thing. It's not like his magic marker for those packs, right? It's not like it just fucking toy storied up and skadoodly dude over there was like, oh, you missed some packs, bro. Here, let me get your back for you. You don't know that you're doing this stuff. Whoa, I'm marking these packs myself. I'm a magic marker. I marker Rick over here. Like, that's that didn't fucking happen. He marked those packs and put them on the right or the left side. He noticed that. He did it. And he knew he messed up that experiment. But instead of correcting it for his fans, he said, fuck it. I'm putting this out. And this is going to be treated as a true, honest, integrous video the entire way through. Now, would you do that? Would you be someone willing to do that? And if the answer is no, then you need to hold this guy to that same standard, knowing that he did this intentionally. He did. He did this intentionally. Okay, you're looking at me. He did this intentionally, okay? He at least knew he messed up and did nothing about it. And with him doing that, this whole video is misinformation. Like, that, that's just a fucking fact. He knew damn good and well he didn't do it. He knew damn good and well it was incorrect. And he put that video out. That is misinformation. That's a fact. It cannot be argued. It cannot be argued that he knew that he missed the packs because he labeled them. And it's just something can't... Like, talking to somebody about that would not have helped at all. It only puts his little feelings in there. It only makes him, you know, Oh, I felt bad that I did this for the community, but I, I did what I thought was... No. No, you didn't. You, you know that's not correct. There's a reason you didn't disclose that information to anybody, because you knew it would take away from the legitimacy of your video. And the content creators, giving him the benefit of the doubt, not really holding him accountable for what they're doing, because they're basically saying, you know, he didn't know, it wasn't intentional, it was an honest mistake. We shouldn't burn someone for a mistake. No, we shouldn't burn someone for a mistake. But this was not a mistake. This was an intentional action done that he filmed himself, knowing damn good and well it wasn't correct, and is willing to put that out for his fandom without any thought of this being correct or accurate or any of that stuff playing into the account. And that is misinformation. And people can take that. And people can do some crazy stuff with that information. We've seen it happen in the Pokemon community before. And quite frankly, talking to somebody doesn't add a damn thing to that. I don't need to do it. No one talked to me about my video whenever they made their video. And hey, you didn't have to because you're smart adults who knew what I was trying to say in my video. You deduced it. And you accurately put that in your video, just like I accurately put what Seismic did in my video. It's just something that we were we both were capable of doing that. I appreciate the video once again. I appreciate everybody doing what they did. I appreciate all the feedback, all the criticism, and everything I got. I welcome it. That's why my comment section will always be open to everybody. Your stuff's not going to get deleted. If you have a problem with me, that's 100% understandable. I completely get it. But what he did was intentional, and what he did is very bad for this community. It is. And I will not just, I, I will do everything I can to convey to people that I respect that they need to reconsider this. They actually need to look at this again and hold this man accountable for what he did. Okay. Like not give him a pass. His video is still up. It's still getting views. People still think this video is legit. People still think this whole thing is good that have not seen my video. And quite frankly, if he cared, that video would be down and he'd be like going like, Hey, I 100% apologize for what I did. Here's what happened. I fucked up. Here it is. Because everything I stated is fact and cannot be argued in that video. He did it. He filmed it. Okay? I do not need to ask somebody about facts. And neither do you. That's all I got. Appreciate it. Have a good one. We can all still be friends, I promise. Appreciate you. Have a good one, virgins.